Hello everyone, this is Sophia, Sophia Lacroix. I am an artist and also a member of the Green Family Foundation Neighborhood Health Team at FIU. I had the honor of working with Amara, um, and so this tutorial is to honor Amara through Amara's Day of Kindness. So I'm going to teach you how to make your own pinata. And it's pretty, pretty simple because you don't need that much stuff. All you need really is an empty jar, one container of Elmer's glue, if you have it, a paintbrush, not really, some tissue paper, an old newspaper and that we're gonna rip, that we're gonna strip together, um, water to mix with the glue, okay, and a box, and then to make interesting designs, we can have some loose copy paper. So this is what's called papier mache. Oh. And also what you're gonna need, you're gonna need some masking tape and something to cut with, okay? So um, let's get going. So the first thing we're gonna do is that we are going to mix the water and the Elmer's glue, okay? As soon as you're done with that, you're gonna pour the water. I like to pour it right in to this container. That's two. There we go. Now, shake it. And then this is the liquid for your paper towel, for your papier mache, okay? We're gonna prepare a box. So I chose an empty cardboard box and um, you can use a shoe box too. Use your tape. So just take a piece, you just basically wanna close the box. This is what we're gonna apply the paper mache. Okay, done, close box. Now, what do we want this? I'm thinking I'm just gonna put two little heads on it, two little ears rather. So the way you do this is you grab some copy paper, and you make a cone. So I'm gonna do two of these. For the sake of making it even, I suggest putting them together. Okay, flatten it like this and just cut across so that it can look flat. And now I've decided that the ears are going to be right here. So we'll just put the ears right here and you can prep it by putting one on this side, one on this side, like for them. Because we're just gonna put them on top of the uh, on top of the box. This is the next ear. So now we have the beginning. We have a nice little animal. Um, I think I want to give them a little nose. So you're going to do the same thing. Take a piece of paper, make a cone. You might want to make it tighter to make it a smaller shape because Believe it or not, this is gonna be a nose. Or maybe we should do something smaller, actually. Let's do it over here. We're gonna take this piece. Make sure it's straight across. Okay, then we're gonna put the nose right here. See that? Make sure that the tape does not come off. So we're gonna put the little nose right here because we're gonna put eyes. We are going to prepare our newspaper. The key to the newspaper, and the reason it's important to clean up, to rip it is that the jagged edges make it um, bind better as a puppy mesh. As best as you can, depending on the size of your fingers. See? 
you rip. You don't have to make them too big or too small. Just about, I would say an inch, sometimes two. So what I forgot to bring is a paper plate. I like to mix it in a paper plate, but that's okay because you can just use the surface of the table. So now we're ready. We're ready to start doing the papier-mâché. We're, we're ready to start laying it. it. It gets messy, so I hope you don't mind. You use the brush to help you. You dip it, make sure it's nice and soaked. I usually try to put a few pieces in there just to make my life easier, but I like the paper plate. Okay, don't put it too much because you're gonna have a mess on your hand. Okay, so here we go, the first piece of paper. You just put it across. You don't have to be particular. And then you brush it and you take another piece. This is a double piece. The paper is strong. The reason we use newspaper is that it's a little stronger, it's a little thicker. And you might wanna put some paper towel because this does get messy. So if you put your paper towel on the surface, you get less of a mess. And you can right away start putting, wrapping your ears. go you can smooth it up with your fingers here it's a good idea since I have a lot of liquid on here I'm putting a drier piece so it can absorb some of the paper just overlap them okay there we go oh we're doing so well Dip the paper a little bit, dip some more. With the brush, the brush is so very important. You know, brushes are not that hard to find. I, as an artist, I have a gazillion of them, I know, but um, you can get some at Walmart. You don't need an expensive brush. You can get a painting brush also, that's fine. You don't have to be picky. It doesn't have to be a fancy schmancy brush like this one. Uh, I'm sure I got this one at the art store, but it doesn't have to be that kind of brush. I'm putting more around the ears. Oh, very important, I forgot to tell you. Make sure you put a plastic uh, paper, a tablecloth wherever you're working so that um, if you're a child and you have mom and dad to answer to or if you have your spouse to answer to so they don't get upset at you for making a mess if you are up to a curve what you do is that you just rip the the paper just to make it go around the curve you rip the newspaper so you have to work a little bit fast so it doesn't dry out too much you have time depending on how wet it is you do have time but you want to make sure you lay down the thing and let me tell you if you if you see all this newspaper you're like well um, pinatas are made with colorful paper and this is just boring newsprint but no um the last layer is going to be It's gonna be, um, what is it, uh, the colorful paper, the tissue paper. Just so you know, this has to dry overnight. There we go. See? Pretty good. But I'm gonna rip a little bit, bit of it. I don't need the entire strip. So put it over here. And you brush it just to smooth out everything, just to make sure and everything binds okay there we go a little bit more here a little bit more remember corners to make corners you rip a little bit and then fold 
and smooth it out. see except for the front we've covered the entire box and we have a nose so this is my act of kindness in honor of Amara so let me tell you a little bit about Amara my dear beautiful colleague Amara and when Amara walked in a room um, it just the room lit up because she had this presence about her you know not only was she absolutely gorgeous um, inside and out uh, but she just just made it fun and she said love the peoples because we were the peoples so uh, she had been bitten by the bug of serving which is what drives all of us at neighborhood health to want to help our communities and do the work that we do you know, we go in there, go in people's homes. People are wonderful to allow us to go into their homes and we help guide them as to where to find the different services and where to get health care and etc. and uh, whatever other services. And um, it just makes you as some, a, a team member feel good that you made a difference in someone's life. I wish when I had first, my family and I first arrived from Haiti, that we would have found a program like Neighborhood Health because we didn't know where to go for help. It's, it's okay to need help. You know, we certainly did, but we did the best we could. And I'm proud to say that we did the best with this opportunity in the United States. Um, and all of us ended up being going to school and having degrees and you know, having the gold role model that my mom was, an amazing woman, tomorrow's birthday, the 26th of October. So um, it, it's a privilege to be in this country. That's why I made sure I voted. I voted by mail, I made sure I voted to make a difference. And hopefully we can, we can all have voted and made our voices heard. So thank you for being here with me and helping me honor Amara. Um, this is gonna dry and we're gonna come back overnight and start adding um, tissue paper to just make this uh, whatever uh, we want it to be so I'm gonna I'm, I've decided I'm gonna use it be as colorful as I can see you in a bit hi so we're back with part two of our paper mache pinata tutorial in honor of Amara's Day of Kindness. So we let this box that we did last time dry very well overnight. Actually, it's been two nights. And we are going to apply the tissue paper using our blue solution. And make sure you have scissors in hand so that we can cut fringes, okay? We're gonna do this in time lapse. And so here we go. A couple of tips. It's best to use the paper mache folded because it's very thin. Also, do not wet your paper mache. What you need to do is you need to apply the glue to your surface and then stick the paper mache and then brush it down. Also, if you want fringes, you're gonna cut the fringes before applying. So uh, do it by folding the paper and cutting, but leaving a little bit. So because I want to make this colorful, I'm going to choose a different color 
for the top and for the ears and accentuate the nose with a little more color and then we're gonna do our fringes okay So now we're going to do the ears and then I'm going to cut a couple of triangles for the eyes and then we can add fringes. Um. So for the fringes, I suggest just cutting some strips and you're going to basically, the best way is to fold them to make it easy on yourself. You fold them a few times and you cut across here, not all the way at the top, leave about a quarter of an inch, well, half an inch or three quarters of an inch and then you just do these you just cut like this okay and make sure if you come to the fold you cut where the fold is so I applied the first layer and make sure that you only put glue on the bottom of course and then on the very top where the first inch is and then you're gonna do another layer and a lot of layer. What I did that was not right is that I should have started at the bottom and on the top. And you're just gonna do that all around. Okay, so we're gonna see this in time lapse. This is our pinata. Don't forget to put stuff on the bottom, you know, the paper, uh, tissue paper on the bottom. And you can also just on the top or somewhere, maybe in the back, uh, take a sharp knife, have a grown up if you're a child to help you take a sharp knife and cut a uh, top, uh, a hole big enough to fit candy. Um, you can not cut it all the way through so that you can just fold it right back and put a piece of tape on it. So hashtag love the people's Amara's Day of Kindness. This has been a tutorial on how to use newspaper, a box, old shoe box, and tissue paper and glue. Uh, two portions of water, one portion of glue to make your own pinata. Sophia signing out.